the National Literacy Trust says that adults uh, who can't read and write can basically lose decades off their life expectancy. Get this. About 9 million people in Britain are functionally illiterate. One in 10 uh, apparently have some form of dyslexia. Goodness me. Uh, Peter, what do you make to all this? Well, for a very long time in this country, in fact, throughout the Western world, uh, the teaching of reading has been done very badly. And uh, Michael Ruhr Flesh, an American, wrote uh, 60 years ago now a, a, a very successful book called Why Johnny Can't Read, in which he explained very simply how in America... What had happened is the teachers had stopped using the basic effective method of reading teaching, which is called synthetic phonics. It sounds very grand. Actually, it's the way my mother taught me to read. It's, it's, it's linking sounds to letters. And it works. And it was tried out also in the Scottish uh, county of Clackmallanshire uh, some years ago and was shown to be much more effective. But teachers don't like it, uh, I think, because they call it authoritarian or something. And they, they, they're not very keen to employ it alone, which is the only way it works. They tend to mix it with other methods. And as a result of this, and as a result of the fact that once children get to secondary school, generally there's not much time to, to, uh, to find remedies for the fact that they can't read properly, they sink. And we have got a very bad record on reading here. And we make it worse uh, by classifying a lot of people who could be taught to read as being dyslexic. Yeah, one in ten people apparently has some degree of dyslexia. What Whatever that, that means. I mean, the, 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 this, this is not just me. I know the fascinating book called The Dyslexia debate was published a few years ago by Professor Julian Elliott of Durham University and Professor Elena Grigorenko uh, of the University of Yale. And b both of them concluded that the problem with dyslexia was that you can't actually define it. There are 28 different definitions of it and there's no, there's no objective diagnosis of it. And people who are alleged to have it will respond just as well to serious reading teaching as people who aren't alleged to have it. Personally, I think it's, uh, I, the, the, it's often said, people say, well, uh, if, if, you're, if you can't read, people think you're thick. Absolutely not. There's no connection between intelligence and, and not being taught properly. But a lot read. of people do You think can be that very well. intelligent, and, and if your teacher has not taught you to read properly, you won't be able to read. It doesn't matter how intelligent. There's no connection at all. Oh, by it's the all way. It's to do with, 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 with reading teaching and then... And then very urgent necessity to reform our schools so that it's done properly again.